What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on the channel. My name is Plant Powers, and this is The Cinema Rosa. So, what is this game? Uh, it's a story-driven adventure game set in a, an abandoned, haunted cinema. Uh, it's inspired by uh, the Stanley Parable, the vanishing of Ethan Carter and Dear Esther. So if you've seen those previous games or played them, you will enjoy this game. It's... Uh, it's set on a more like dark, mysterious vibe, but it looks it looks pretty cool, and we get some like puzzles in the middle as well to uh, enjoy and uh, solve. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, jump into the game. Uh, I'll just recommend you put your uh, headphones on and uh, dim the lights a little bit because the game is quite dark, uh, so it'll be hard to see if you're uh, watching this in the daytime, I guess, or in a brightly lit room. So let's get into it. Okay, use the arrow keys to walk. Okay, use E to interact. Use F to toggle flashlights. Gotcha. Alright, cool. So loading the game. As always, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe the... Okay, I thought it was going to say something. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and you want to see more. Alright, here we go. I walk at night in the Cinema Rosa, basking in the afterglow of our time together, sifting through notes and memories. So it's very inspired by old cinema as well. So you have like showing, uh, it was showing Dracula and uh, I don't recognize this movie. I mean, I'm too young for this. Penance, was it? I've seen Dracula, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but uh, I didn't see the other one. Quite, quite a cool, like classical looking cinema. They don't do them like this anymore. All right, here we go. So as I said, yeah, it's quite dark in here. I can't adjust the uh, uh, the brightness at all. I mean, I can do just the gamma, but uh, that's not really helpful. I can to toggle on the flashlight, but it's not really... If I get close to stuff, it's okay, but... Uh, Pursuit of Happiness, never heard of that movie either. The Last Days of Pompeii, I heard that one, but I haven't seen it. We have Dracula, with the famous uh, Bella Lugosi, yep. This is one of my favorite horror movies. Ben-Hur, oh man, that's really old. Long movie as well. Keller in his latest mystery, Self-Decapitation. Haven't seen that one. Never heard of it. The Telltale Knife. Who is this by? Western drama. I'm not sure. Selig? No. I don't know. Lelig? We have ghosts, ghost tours at the Cinema Rosa. Thursdays midnight till 2 a.m. I guess they do like horror showings. There's a lot of like bags of chips on the floor. Uh, let me see here. Ooh, this is this a telephone? No power. Computer no power as well. Open the mini fridge. Let's just close that for now. Uh, let's see. Large popcorn, five dollar, five dollars. That is really cheap. Large drink, five dollars. Man, in the, I live in Spain at the moment, and uh, the prices for cinemas and popcorn are really expensive. Like for one showing, it would be like six euros. Uh, oh, this door is locked as well. And like the menu for popcorns and drinks will be like another fucking like five euros or something. Oh, what's this? The late news, telling you the news years after it occurs, daily, January 30, 2010. That's not really old, 2010. 
Although most of the cinema survived the fire intact, he has decayed until neglect over the months. With several vandalizers raiding the premises, the place is now littered and with overturned chairs and tables, ripped chip packages and torn down posters. I've lost everything, waiting more told reporters yesterday, but I cannot afford to rebuild it. I'm not sure what to do. The cinema remains closed to the public. I cannot escape the feeling of in in inescapable irony. Local man Patrick Bates yesterday was found in a state of absolute despair at the prospect of facing a wide variety of ironic memes on the internet Friday afternoon. I cannot escape the feeling of inescapable irony. He told reporters lying on his kitchen floor crying himself to sleep. Okay, Who's, who the hell is Patrick Bates? Anywho, Bates... Was that Bates, Mo Bates Hotel? Is that a series? About a haunted hotel, is it? Kind of rings a bell, but I'm not sure where from. Any hoops. Uh, the Cinema Roses closed, closes down. Bob Whitting. Or I'm reading this. <laughs> I'm reading this the way, the wrong way around. I started on the left, but I should have started on the right. Uh, once called the spookiest cinema in all of America, the Cinema Rosa closed permanently yesterday, forming a rocky and at times tumultuous period in business. The trouble began several months ago when the fire broke out in a projector room, prompting an evacua evacuation of the Art Deco era building. Firefighters rushed to the scene and were able to contain the blaze. The cinema's managing director, Jim Whittingmore, alleged foul play. A cinema doesn't just go up in smoke. I demand a full investigation. Whittingmore is set to lose millions if insurance company never pay, does, <laughs> doesn't pay out <laughs> his expected costs. I, lo <laughs> I love the insurance. <laughs> I'm sorry, just make me laugh. Never pay, refuse to answer questions when called by the late news. We do not respond to non-existent claims, a re representative said after refusing to give out their name. I love this company name. Love it. Okay. Oh, so the, the hotel, uh, the hotel, uh, the cinema went up in, in flames. It doesn't seem all that burnt. I guess uh, we'll find out more in the projector room. There's a door here, I can't really access that. Ah, so everything is locked. Not sure. Uh... Oh, oh, popcorn, oh, it's, of course. Oh, London, remember August? Gods, London weather is awful. Missing you to death. Got sick on the train and had to, and had the whole carriage watching me. Strange lines and empty faces. Will explain when I see you. Strange lines on empty faces. Okay. Oh, what's this cabinet? Oh, was this open? Oh, is this a oh switch? Oh, nice. Do we have lights? Yes. No, more or less. We do have power. The phone is ringing. Let me check. Oh, it's quite dark. Hello? Okay. Let's see. Ooh, Jack Pitford, Huck and Tom in the cave. Let me see. My PC, history, receipts, recycle bin, calendar. Nothing works. Oh, tickets do. Ticket software. Love Affair, Screen 1, Date 2010, Row F, Seat 14, Confirm to print. The ticket has already been printed, collect the ticket and proceed to Seat F14. Where's the printer? Oh. Tool shed store and hardware, tax invoice. Someone left nylon rope. 450. Mm, that's weary. Oh, error 404. Computer not found. Okay. Uh, so we have power. Oh, this door opened. Can I go in? Yeah. Okay, I had my flashlights off. Still, it's so dark though. Oh, what's this? Oh. Uh, very funny, Tim. Move this back to storage. Let me try and move it. <laughs> Someone must be the, vandali the vandalizers. Put this here. Okay, so we're in a like a private showing room or something. Film projector. 
Something is missing, okay. Like a roll of film or something. What's this? Oh, the late news, okay. Cinema Rosa opens new dance hall, Brian Smith. The Cinema Rosa opened a uh, dance hall Sunday, adding a unique 1920s flair to the casual cinema goers' experience. The dance hall was the brainchild of the cinema's owners, with film posters dotting the walls and piano music playing out from the gallery. The hall is an experience not to be missed, among other attractions in the city. Perfect for that date night out with that special someone. Alright, so we have a dance hall in the cinema. That is quite cool. Do they do, do, they do like uh, disco nights or something? After movies? That is pretty cool. We have some uh, wine here. It says, what does it say? Big sleeper and no clue. <laughs> Can I drink this? Drink. 1946, a brutish wine with a hint of noir. Okay. 60% alcohol. What? That can't be right. And it? That can't be right. Uh, we have a postcard as well, like a couple on the beach. Do you remember this? We were dancing on the beach and uh, were laughing so hard we could barely breathe. Imagine if we co could go back and relieve those days. And I miss the beach. <laughs> Although I live in Spain, I live in Madrid and there's no... Uh, the beach is a little bit far away from here. What? The ghost... Oh, it, it just disappeared. Okay. Ooh. Alright, we got ghosts. Oh, you got some moves there, buddy. Look at him. I guess this is the dance hall. I wonder what they listen to or are listening to. Picture frames, something is mixing with the picture. The piano as well. Torn poster. I just picked that up. The gramophone doesn't work. Another torn poster. Oh, another one. Um, what's this here? You read we never met again. Music house. Music by Arthur M. Cohen. Okay. Okay, it's a cheat music. I, I don't know. I... Never five. We never something. Five. What? What's this draw? Uh, like markings here. I can't read the sheet music. Anyways, I like I really like music, but uh, and I could play uh, like a little bit of guitar, but no piano though. Use zero nine, what? Oh no way! <laughs> so cool. <gasps> <laughs> I really, I really suck at playing, but any hoots. Oh, oh, five. Oh, is that the code? The, the marking on the sheet music. Five. No. Ooh, five seven. Wait. Okay, five seven. Nine? Yeah. All right, sweet. You guys enjoyed that? That was uh, totally me, by the way. <laughs> Uh, okay. Not sure what that. Uh, okay. Not sure what's happening. We have Ben Hur. Ooh. 
Hoyt's a contested woman. More wine. Madame Blainos? Spat. A uh, Berg. What? How do you read this? A uh, Berg. Bergender? <laughs> I don't know. Grips and grapes. What's it? Well, what are these markings on the wall, though? I'm not really sure. Oh, another piece of the poster. Okay. What's this on the floor? Is it burned carpet? Oh, it can't be. It's too neat. Like it's a rectangle on the floor. That's really weird. Oh, can we open this? Yes, we can. Oh wow, that <laughs> that really looks like Oxford's. I'm not sure if it is. Looks like the the Bodleian uh, Library. I, I lived in Oxford for uh, a few years. It really looks like Oxford. Uh, your parents think the idea is insane. Why waste a first class education to open a cinema, of all things? I think you should ignore them. It could be Oxford. I mean, first class education. That's, uh, that's one city to get it. Uh, bu bu bu. Okay, what's this door? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Let me see. We picked up all the. Maybe we can put the posters up here? Yeah, we can, yeah. Mary Miles Minter. Or. Yeah, Minter, yeah. Annie for Spite. This is some. Oh my. <clears throat> that kind of scared me. <laughs> that made me jump. The ghosts are. Everything is back in its place. Everything is neat. I guess that was a poster on the floor. Aviation meat. 1910 this movie is from. That's for, That's pretty cool. Something is missing from the fireplace. Is it fire? Okay. Oh, also the door is open here, so let's just go through it. What the? What is this? It's like a portal. Very trippy. Oh, it is a portal. Do you remember when we first met? It was out by the Caroline docks and the ships were sailing in. The pigeons were chasing us around while your eyes shone like so many late night dancers. Sometimes I relive that moment in my head, watching you at the wharf as you leave, ceaselessly. I can't escape the feeling that everything would have gone differently had I talked to you back then. There's a film reel here as well. I picked it up. Okay. Shall we go back? Guess. It's quite trippy, this effect like black and grey and pixelated. Makes for a good if like noir effect. And we're back in the cinema. I'm not sure who's talking. Is it us? Reminiscing? About someone? Maybe. I didn't see this one. Intolerance. Uh, Mr. Griffin's first production since the birth of a nation. I saw that. I saw that one. The birth of a nation. That's really old. Like that's one of the first like long uh, movies ever produced. All right, cool. So that opened up. Oh, what's this? So we look first. Oh, it's London, okay. Westminster, was it? The Houses of Parliament cover eight acres. This is the Discovery Channel back in the day. In St. Stephen's Tower hangs the biggest bell of London, Big Ben. Uh, 
Uh, this takes me back. <laughs> the music is quite loud here as well. Okay, let's see what the uh, what's behind the painting here. Oh, a key! Picked up the key. Nice. And the I have kept this diary hidden away from you, locked inside the Cinema Rosa. You're probably already trawling through my things, searching for clues. I knew you'd come looking for me. You always do. Oh, what's this? I can't pick it. I can't pick it up. So we found the key. Maybe for one of these doors. Here we go. It started as a project between the two of us, opening a cinema. I remember that day so clearly now. I had a plan to meet you in Oxford that afternoon. The idea was to explore the library together, chase down the last remaining copy of Tolstoy's diary. Yeah, so that was Oxford. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I lived there for like seven years. I mean, it would be pretty bad if I didn't recognize it. Okay, so the ghost moved into the broom closet, or the storage, whatever. That's very funny, Mr. Ghost. Better stay put now. Oh, cool, we're in Oxford. So, let me give you, let me give you the tour. So, this is the Bodleian uh, library. This is the library that only, uh, like, very, uh, high members of uh, English society have uh, access to, and of course, the Oxford students. It's not open to the public. On no. the way out, we stumbled on this old book on Art Deco cinemas. It was the perfect project. A way for us to live out a hundred different lives together. That's very cool. And uh, on either side, it's, it, it's colleges belonging to the uh, Oxford University. It's, it's really nice, man. If you have... If you have the opportunity to go to England one day, you might want to consider visiting Oxford, because it's really beautiful. So we picked up a uh, cinema ticket. Not quite sure what to do with it. Place it on the computer. Tickets? Nope. I don't want to go to the other side, though. I mean... There's nothing really inside there. What's in the way? I want to go through that door. Movie still playing here? Still showing uh, London, maybe, perhaps. Is this a mirror? I think it's a mirror. Yeah. Okay. Can we place the uh, tickets in <laughs> in there? No. All right. So, where do we have to go? Also, we picked up some, like, a large bucket of uh, popcorn. And, uh, like, a drink cup as well. So maybe we just have to fill those up. Let me try. Where was... Drink dispenser. Oh, nice. Wait. Wait, what happened there? I think I filled up my drink. I put the uh, bucket here. Here we go. We have, we have some popcorn. Oh, okay. Nice. Even then, there were warning signs. The fire in the projection room. The accident in the lobby. The newspapers began calling the place haunted. Maybe they were onto something. 
Hmm, maybe. There are several ghosts in here, though. This place is locked. Someone working inside there. This must be the uh, cinema valet. Thank you. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Not sure if you can see it, because it's so dark. Oh, where was our seat? F14, I think it was. Oh, hold on just a second. Just gonna check. Can I? Oh, I can't go through here. Okay. Oh, this is locked as well. Right, just uh, let's just sit on our uh, place. Wait. F14. Uh, here? Yeah. I've written out these directions. Read them carefully so there won't be any mistake. Darling. That's me. Mm. July 1st, 5 o'clock, 102nd floor, top of the Empire State Building. Yes. That's it right there. It's the tallest building in the world. You can't miss that. It's the nearest thing to heaven we have in New York. You sure you take the elevator? <laughs> well, until we meet again, take care of yourself. The next week we saw the opening of a film. Imagine that, seeing a premiere in your very own cinema. I remember that vacant stare you had on the way out, like your mind was playing out ideas in some distant universe. Because we had, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'm not sure what movie was that, but it seemed very romantic. Oh, some movie reels. Another postcards. I miss the way you laughed back then. You would smile every time you saw me. It was infectious. So we used to work at the cinema. I guess. Because uh, we hid the key behind that dro uh, p uh, poster picture. And uh, we have like postcards all over the place, so I guess. We used to work here. Uh, excuse me, sir. Mind you, can I order oh, error 404 again? Let's see, coffee machine. It's Exposition Universelle et Internationale. Internationale de Bruxelles. Exposition. Okay. But it was an exposition. Work poster Alice Garden, Jim Wang, blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, is it a love affair? Was this the movie that was playing? Charles Boyer, Irene Dune, Dunn. I'm sure how you say that. Check the drawings. Oh. Can I open this suitcase? No, I cannot. Oh, maybe these drawers. Some of them open. Nope. Uh. Schnauzer, Chardonnay, 2018. Can't really... Oh, there's a... Okay. <laughs> Didn't see this closet here. Oh, a matchbook. It nice. all comes back to those late night stints in the office. You had this idea that if you worked hard enough, you could become someone else. Someone better. Everything became a sale. Your voice, your movement, your belief system. Anything that wasn't tied down was sold off until I could no longer recognize you. That seems like someone has changed. Okay, let's light up the fireplace. See what happens. Make it Months burn. passed until things got worse. I was away on business and when I came back you could barely look at me. I saw the fire in your eyes. Smoke filling up the projection room. Everything we had worked towards collapsing in a single afternoon. Someone had disabled the fire alarms. Oh no. So maybe it was foul place after all. Oh, the portal is going as well. Oh, it's back. 
That was the first time we went to Michael. He was recommended by a friend. Michael worked in this grey, simple office out west, with nothing on the walls. It somehow needed more colour to it. Is Michael part of the insurance company or something? Change. Okay. We can make this a one. One, two, three, four. Okay. What does it say on the wall? There's nothing outside this room. Work hard. Give up all desire. Asking for more is entitlement. Entitlement is worse than greed. Never stop working. There is nothing outside this room. This is very depressive. <laughs> I mean, uh, there is a lot of people that have to work in like similar conditions in like office and what's not, but uh, man, I could never do it. I hope I don't have to do it. <laughs> Let's see, reads. In color theory, the colors are red, blue, and green. Are, uh, the color. Let me start this over. The colors red, green, and blue are combined using light to make a variety of different colors, known as RGB. The system is typically used in the creation of computer graphics and graphics design. The first channel, R, is the red channel, the second is green, the third is blue. The maximum input to any one channel is 255. Green, for example, would be 00, 255. Okay. So, uh, oh, is this a, a color scheme, I guess? Let me just check. Oh, what's this as well? March 16th. 2008. The phone rang today. A woman's voice was on the line. She kept repeating the same few words. But what does it all mean? A man's mind begins to rot when he cannot color his lot. From the likes of Hayward, O'Hara and the Devil's Lair to the color of a woman's hair. From a line which cannot be crossed to a cause appealing as lives are lost. From a fish that leads him astray to the last of the words I shall say. From my heart do I implore to be careful of what you have just read. Okay. Bit of a weird poem. I'm not really into poems myself. <laughs> I find them too hard to interpret. Uh, let's see what's in these drawers. Nothing. Alright, let's change this up to the color green. So that was 255. Got nothing really happens. Oh, there's a phone. Does it really do anything? Oh, it's ringing. Sure. Press E to pick up. Oh, that was the... Okay. I thought there was a phone. There's also a camera in there. Okay, let's make uh, 255. Let's make... Everything 255. That would be the color white. White is the combination of all colors. Ugh. All right, anything? Change? Oh, the computer. What's this? Desktop error. Oh, there's another thing here. March 5th, uh, 2008. I am beginning to suspect that there is something outside this room, but everything keeps telling me otherwise. Okay, that's... Maybe we have to do the color purple? Because everything seems to be in, like, purple. But I don't know what's the color purple. Uh, let me check the book again. So red RGB, red. So purple, I guess green and blue would kind of be. No, green and blue is yellow, right? Oh, no, no, it's purple. I think green and red. That's yellow. No, wait. I I don't know. I forgot the color uh, mixes. Let me try putting the red at zero. Ugh. Okay. Not a bit lost. Okay, not, not really sure what uh, kind of color the They want me to put here. Let's change this to green again. There we go. Green. Nothing really happens though. Maybe somewhere in this letter there's... Is there like a hint to what color I should be using? 
Do I have to Google what color is uh, purple? Maybe I'll have to Google. What is the color codes, the RGB color code for purple? <laughs> Any uh, I guess I'm going to take a quick break here while I'll Google this. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for uh, watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, as always, if you're uh, into this video and you want to see more of it. And uh, yeah, that's been me, and this has been The Cinema Rosa. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.